Thanks for joining us on News Nation Rush Hour. I'm Nicole Burley. The White House continues to be peppered with questions over the discovery of classified documents at President Biden's old D.C. office, as well as at his home in Delaware. White House Press Secretary Corrine Jean Pierre fielding several questions during today's press briefing and repeating a familiar refrain in response. When it comes to the Department of Justice, when it comes to legal issues, we will not comment. We are going to be prudent from here. Uh, we're just not going to talk about there's an investigation going on. There's a legal process here, as we've been very, very clear about. But we're going to be prudent here and make sure that we are not uh, interfering in this process. Look, I'm going to be very consistent here. Uh, I am going to be very clear here. We are trying to be very prudent here, and we are trying to be very consistent and say this is an ongoing uh, legal process, and this is why I say we're just not going to comment from here. All right, so joining us now to discuss the latest developments, Bob Cusack, editor-in-chief with our partners at The Hill. Bob, we thank you for being here. Uh, there's a lot of emphasis on the process, cooperation with investigators, transparency, but not many answers uh, about, about these growing questions surrounding the documents. Bob, is that the right tactic? Because Americans aren't getting any answers, at least not yet. Well, Nicole, it doesn't look good uh, as of right now. And remember, uh, this these documents, at least the first ones, were, were discovered before the election. So then the question is, and you already addressed it, who knew what when? And I'm sure Republican investigators are going to be asking that question. And why didn't they get on top of it? Because if you see Democrats on the Sunday shows and since this controversy has come out, they're not really on the same page. And why is that? Because I think uh, President Biden and the White House need to get on top of this, make sure there aren't more documents, uh, and, and then have a, a, a strategy of how to deal with this. And that's that could be a while. And, and the, these type of uh, testy pressers at the White House, they're going to be continuing. Well, speaking of that, you know, new reporting today is claiming the president is frustrated with how his administration has has handled this scandal, uh, reportedly upset that it's overshadowing what's been a positive stretch for his administration. Let's listen to what the press secretary had to say about that. I can tell you this, the president has confidence. I can tell you this, that the president and his team uh, rightfully took action when they learned that the documents ex existed. They reached out to the archives. They reached out to the Department of Justice. That is the steps. We have been very clear about that, the steps and the process uh, that we took here. All right, so Bob, we heard from the press secretary there. Do you think the president is, is growing increasingly frustrated with this entire situation? Yes, he has. It's certainly overshadowing a, a very good midterm election for him. And remember, you know, the his State of the Union's coming up soon, and this is going to be in the backdrop. So I think they're going to have to have a strategy on these documents before then. Uh, this is something that, you know, there could be a, a fall person here. Well, why did this happen? I mean, the 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 lawyers for the president have con consistently said, you know, this was inadvertent. OK, but but it was sloppy at best. And and who was in charge of that? And we'll see. I, I just think there's going to be a lot more shoes to drop here. You know, so, so the president's lawyers are locating, locating handling uh, these classified documents. A question that keeps coming up, is there an unfair standard here? Why hasn't the FBI taken on a larger role in this investigation? Well, yeah, and certainly Republicans uh, are are saying, hey, now now Joe Biden's got the same problem. It's not exactly the same. And, and to be fair, the Biden White House, and this has not been refuted, uh, and, and Biden's people have had a better relationship with uh, the archive certainly than than Trump's team because there was a lot of communication before that famous raid of Mar-a-Lago uh, and and they were not getting the documents they wanted. So uh, even though the White House has not been transparent, uh, certainly when they found out, uh, or at least a couple people at the White House found out uh, because this happened months ago, uh, they have been cooperator and there's there's really been no reporting to to confuse that. So there's a little bit of difference, but at the same time. When you're and Biden's going to be running for president, and this could maybe delay his announcement a little bit, um, they've still got the same type of problem, and the nuances get lost. Nicole, thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.